Good evening. This is a bit of an emotional one to be honest. It's my uh, last few days of being a teenager. I don't want to turn 20. 20 is the most insignificant age. Like, well, what is the point in being 20? Why can't we just go from 19 to 21? I do use the fact that I'm technically still a teenager as my excuse for everything. I was so busy there for the past two weeks. Like, there was something on every night. And it wasn't even just, like, shitty plans. I could be like, nah, nah, nah. Like, I'll have a night. And it was, like, stuff, like, I kind of had to go to. But it meant I was having a few drinks every night. Which, at any other age, at 20 years old, that's, like, a bit worrying. At 19, I'm like, fuck it. I'm a teenager. I can do what I want. But I'm hitting 20 in two days. And that's when I need to reel it in. I literally feel like two months ago, I got off school for corona. Like, my lockdown vlogs feel like three weeks ago. I'm really struggling to put this necklace on, if you can't tell. Anyway, I thought I would vlog the next couple of days just to document it. Even more for myself, because... I want to relive my teenage days through this vlog. I've got some things planned for today. Basically, I'm meeting up with my friends Jude and Jordan. They work in this company called Heat that you can basically like pay for a designer mystery box. And they're coming down to give me a box, which I'm so excited for. So I'm gonna go meet them. Also, what is this weather? I don't know if you can see, but blue skies, like 20, 21, 22 degrees. Like summer has really come back for my birthday. I'm actually just not a huge birthday person. Like my birthdays never really end well, to be honest. I think they're a wee bit cursed, but hopefully this year changes it. Do you want to see me out for the day? This is a top I got from Urban Outfitters. Like I swear, six years ago, still wear it to this day. I got these trousers in a place called 194. It is on Brick Lane, like in Shoreditch, that's where I got them, but they do have a website, so maybe you can even get them on the website if you're if you're interested. I just like how low-waisted they are, I think they're really cool. 194, local, I think that's what it's called. Oh, also, I got some new bedside tables, do you wanna see? I mean, they look pretty shit right now. They're literally like completely bare. They've got like a wee lamp on them. I had a vision to put like loads of wee trinkets on it, but then I got them and I realized I actually, I don't have any trinkets and I don't know where you find trinkets. I just want like little pastel colored cute trinkets. If anyone has any suggestions, please let me know down below. I have picked up Jude. <laughs> <laughs> There's no warning. He is like violently hungover. So obviously the only way to get over hangover is another drink. We're just at this little pub nearby me. How cute. We're just waiting for Jordan now. She's coming to meet us. Should we just start praying now? Should we? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, me and Jude are going out together tonight. We're going to this place called Printwork, which is like a bit of a rave, to be honest. And I'm not a raver, like, I've never been to a rave before. One time I went to see Bicep in Belfast, but it was like an outdoor concert. It wasn't quite a rave. But we're going to see this person called S.G. Lewis. You're friends with him, no? Yeah, Sam. Sam. And he does that more than a woman edit on TikTok, which I'm so excited for. Like, the second that comes on, I'm going to be in my element. <sighs> do this i actually have things to do tomorrow as well like it's quite an exciting day tomorrow i'm gonna do like a two-day vlog girls night <laughs> here she goes hey, hello Did you see my first TikTok today? Oh my god, no you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> is he blown up? No, not at all, like one like, Olivia. <laughs> the next part of this video is very kindly sponsored by Kissify. So I love Kissify, I have done for so long. If you're ever wondering where my case is on my phone, it's nine times out of 10 from Kissify. I just love them because they're so like cute and pretty while also having like the best protection ever and also being really lightweight. Like this is the one I have on my phone at the minute, but Kissify actually sent me out some more. They've actually come out with a new version of their impact case. It's even lighter than their case before. So these are some of the impact cases. You can pick the cutest prints ever. This is an ultra impact, which protects your phone of up to 9.8 feet of a drop. And this is just an impact case, which is 6.6 .6 feet of a drop. While being lighter than the previous impact case, they're actually taking a step towards sustainability. So they use 65% recyclable materials to make these phone cases now, which is so cool. Actually, some of the material they use is old Caseify cases. So if you upgrade your phone and you don't know what to do with your old case, you can actually send it back to Caseify and they use it in this program to make new cases. I know Apple is releasing the iPhone 13 very soon, so if you're upgrading, I would definitely get an ultra impact case. Like, smashing your screen when you have a case by case isn't a thing. I may as well do a drop test to show you like how good these cases really are, because you're not gonna trust me until I actually throw my phone on the floor. So I am putting on this ultra impact case. Okay, I'm just gonna stand up here. Okay, so this is the before. No scratches or cracks or anything. Okay. And just like that, 
absolutely fine. Also love customizing my case. This is one with like my initials on it, if you can see. If you want a Kissify case, make sure you go to www.kissify.com forward slash Olivia Neal. I'll put it on screen here and I'll also put it in my description. So make sure you check it all out. And thank you so much to Kissify for sponsoring this video. Love ya. I literally look like that photo of Jessica Lange in American Horror Story. So it is now a bit later. I think it's around eight slash nine. I did come home and then I went to the pub near me and I had a few Aperol spritzes. Now, Aperol spritzes are a bit of a silent killer, me thinks, because they just taste like juice. I absolutely love the taste of them. My forehead's definitely gotten bigger. Anyway, irrelevant. They taste like juice and I literally only had two and then I was like, okay, I'm drunk. And it's, it's three o'clock. Like this is just completely unnecessary. I came home, had some sushi and fell asleep on the sofa for the rest of the day. So that was really productive and really just completely unnecessary. So now I'm getting ready for this event tonight. Also, I've been using this thing recently. It's like the L'Oreal Tree Match stuff. And I've been using it for like the past month and I always thought it was foundation, but I think it's just like a tinted serum and it's really good because I don't really like, like having coverage because my skin actually isn't that bad at the minute, mostly because I use La Roche Posay Ethical Duo. So I don't really need a lot of coverage, so why why put on loads of coverage if you don't need it? I remember when I was literally 15, like I was obsessed with makeup, I had like a makeup phase. I feel like a lot of people had this makeup phase, it was kind of like the Anastasia, Beverly Hills, modern renaissance phase. The Giorgio Romani luminous silk foundation phase. I feel like a lot of people who watch like Shani Grimmond will know what I mean. Like I used to spend two hours doing a glitter cut crease when I was, what, 14? Like where was I going? And why was I using like a Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation? Where, how did I get my hands on this makeup? I really like can't have a late night because I've got things to do tomorrow. I need to go into town and like get my dress for my birthday because it's in a few days and I still haven't got my dress. And my theme is like black tie, so I actually need to put in effort. <gasps> oh my god, I just remembered something. Oh my god, Elise. I was just sitting doing my makeup and I remembered I never replied to you. <sighs> Fuck. Because like when you, when you sent me the video of your dress to see if I liked it, I was on the toilet and I was I was like taking a shit, not gonna lie. So I didn't go on my phone for a while after and then I completely forgot to reply to you. But the dress is amazing. You look like an angel. It's so pretty. Did, I, I didn't reply, did I? Because that would be horrible if I didn't. <laughs> oh my God, I literally just had a panic there when I was doing my makeup. I'm terrible for that. Like the poor girl. She's coming over my, for my birthday party, which will be so fun. I haven't seen Elise in so long. And like Susie's coming and like loads of my other Belfast friends, which is really fun because like my Belfast friends have never really merged with my London friends. So I'm really excited for them all to be together. Like my siblings are coming. It's just gonna be a hoot. I'm doing like a black tie event, even though it's just like at a normal club. And I just love seeing everyone like all, all scrubbed up. Oh my God, I'm a wee bit raging. Obviously my brother's coming. My brother goes to uni in Newcastle. He shaved off his full eyebrow when he was drunk. And I'm just like, come on. I'm not getting any photos with you. Like, it, it, it's not a slit. A slit is completely fine. I mean, a slit's not ideal. It's like, come on, grow up. He's just shaved off the entire eyebrow. I'll put in a photo. I'm, I'm fucking raging. I'm like, could you not wait until after my birthday morning? A bit selfish, but come on. Who does that? Who shaves off their full eyebrow? I'm just gonna have to like face tune an eyebrow on him in all my photos. But yeah, so I've got stuff to do tomorrow, so I really can't have a late night. But I've actually been really good recently uh, um going home like at a reasonable time. And I feel so much better for it the next day. Like I'm actually able to do things on my hangover now, which is good. Now I'm in like my kind of kind of responsible era. I'm like, so is it time to get a car? Or like what what happens? What happens next? See, the thing is, I feel so bad about it because I really want a kitten. I love cats so much, but I would just love a kitten. Like, I just think it's nice to have your pet from like a very young age, so it kind of grows up with you. But there's no kittens like in shelters. I've literally checked all the shelters near me and there's no kittens. And I think there rarely is kittens that are they're happy for to be like just indoor cats. So I'm gonna have to buy one. And like, that is shitty. It is shitty. I'm gonna keep trying shelters. I'm just gonna research loads and like not go for like a dodgy, dodgy place. Oh. Is anyone watching, have like, have you got a cat and then it's like accidentally got pregnant and you're not breeding it, but it's like you, the cat's pregnant and all you fucked it. Like where are the kittens gonna go? If you're in that situation by any chance, please hit me up because that would be ideal. And like me and the little kitten at Christmas, like I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna decorate my flat this year because I didn't decorate my flat last year. But um, I just think this apartment would really suit like a nice like Christmas tree and ah, and the wee cat would be like, sorry, 
I'm just getting a bit ahead of myself. Okay, so my friend who I'm going with is about to arrive to pick me up to bring me to the tube station. But this is the fit. The trousers are from that same place the other trousers are from. It's called 194. And then this is from like a random shop in Brickley that they don't have a website for. And then this top is literally the most beautiful top I've ever owned in my life. So it was made by my friend, Bethan. Oh my God, her clothes are absolutely stunning. And like it's all handmade. Like it's just... Oh, it makes me so proud wearing my own friend's clothes. And then I'm wearing my Adidas like platform something. I'm not too sure what they're called. And then for the bag, because I've got a bit of green and a bit of blue going on, I think I'm going to use the new bag that I got today from my friend Jordan, Ralph from Hate. Um, it's like a sweet, cool Balenciaga one. And it's green, so I think it goes really nicely. And it's green and gold, which is amazing because I love green and gold. I'm all biz with my new bag, don't mind me. Yeah, this is the final outfit. I need to run off now, but I'm going to vlog the night. Fuck it. Will I ever not hide I don't know how, but I suddenly lose control. Come on, everyone. Welcome to the pastas. On the right, we've got Rita Tony. Wait. At the top, we've got Tadio Tadio. At the left, we've got Fusilier. Wait, who's the one that's like, um, the G Giovanni Capagno? If my mother had. If my mother had wheels, she would have had a bar. The third one. <laughs> Try not to laugh. Avocado toast. Beans. Morocco. Cheers. Okay, so I have washed my hair. That is the best way to cure a hangover. I don't really like washing my hair that often, but it literally like knocks a hangover straight out of you. So I'm feeling much better now. I need to go to Selfridges now to go to this place called Her, H-U-R-R, -R, where I'm renting my birthday dress from. And we're just gonna try on loads of dresses, which should be fun. I do find it quite odd that there's a mirror up there. Someone said it looked like a footlocker mirror, and now I can't get that out of my head. Okay, let's go Selfridges. Okay, so I'm in Her now, in Selfridges. She picked out loads of dresses for me. I'm gonna try some on. Okay, Right, first dress is this like black one. It's kind of um satin, but it's got this like like a leopard print detail on it. It's like very low on the chest, so I'd have to like tape myself in because I already have had a few nip slips. And then it's like really short, but can you see like the, the detailing on it? I think it's really nice with like big chunky black heels. This is the next option. It is a bit more like glittery and fun, but I just feel like I want something a bit more fancy on the neckline. Do you know what I mean? Like a bit of a V. Okay, this is the third one. I love it, but it reminds me of my formal dress too much. It's so pretty, but it's just, it's too similar to my formal dress. Do you know what I mean? What the fuck? I never spend money. I don't know what happened to me today. Well, that's it. I, I do spend money. Like, I spend money on, like, rent and stuff. But, like, I never go on a shopping spree. Like, a proper, like, selfridges shopping spree. I mean, maybe sometimes I'll buy myself a bag every, like, year. But, like... I want a fucking shopping spree and I don't feel good because of it. Shopping does not make me happy. It makes me stressed. Like, I've got this like ball in my stomach. I can't even stand up straight right now. There shouldn't be anyone at my door. Hello? Oh yeah, coming out now. So I picked up this black dress from the first place I went to, her, the wee like rental place in Selfridges. And I do love it. It's got that wee like jacquard, jacquard. I don't know, detailing. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. But I feel like I'm gonna wear it for my birthday dinner, like the day after my party. I just don't think it's party enough. I think it's gorgeous, but I don't think it's like the party vibe I want to go for. I want like sequins. And then as I was like about to check out at her, I saw this coat and I was like, this is the nicest coat I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it's obviously quite out there. Like I wouldn't, I don't think I'd ever buy it because it's been quite hard to wear with like, like this color. But I was like, I really, really want that for Instagram as stupid as that sounds. She was like, just borrow it for a few days for Instagram. And I was like, I fucking will. Like I'm obsessed with this. Oh, I love it. I think it'd be like really cute with like a pair of denim jeans and Doc Martens. And then I went down to the shoes bit because I needed to get shoes my birthday party. I'm really, really obsessed with them. I think they're so cool. They're like this really chunky platform heel. Wow. I then went to Gucci. I I don't buy designer clothes. I don't think I own anything designer clothes. Like I will buy a bag because I'll wear it every single day, but I'm all, I will still stand to it that sometimes buying designer clothes can be stupid. Unless it's like a piece that's like kind of classic and timeless and it's not going to go out of fashion in like three months, like pretty much everything else these days. 
then I'm like, okay, maybe I can justify you buying it. Look at the box, so pretty. I really want to watch that new movie that's coming out. Is it Hoist of Gucci? It looks so good. Okay, so it's basically like, I guess it's, un it's meant to be an undergarment. It's like this little slip dress and it's got the like Gu Gucci monogram there. And then I would probably wear like a black slip dress underneath it. And I was thinking like this with like really big black boots and like a black leather jacket would be so cute. I just think it's really like precious and I don't know. I just really, really liked it. And it's got like cute little like roses there. Oh, I just think it's cute and something a bit different. My friend literally came and met me and she was like, you need to go to the shop if you want to find your birthday dress. And I'd never heard of it before. It's called Annie's, Annie's Ibiza but it's in Carnaby in London. It was like the most incredible shop ever. Like when you walk in, it's like, it's like a costume shop, but like all the clothes that like you could actually wear. And then I saw this dress by Cleo Pepiat, which she like exclusively stocks. At the store, I was like, it's beautiful, I don't know. But then I tried it on. Oh my God, it literally fit me like a glove. Like I have never felt so confident in the dress before. It was stunning on. This is like the kind of thing I will keep in my wardrobe forever and that like my children will probably ask me for. I put in a photo of the girl who owns the shop wearing it so you can kind of get a vibe of what it's like. It's all like hand hand placed sequence like it's like literally incredible and I just think this with like these heels it will be a wee bit sensational. And yeah that's all I got today. It was a pretty successful shopping trip. I think what I'm most excited for to be honest is to get an Instagram and this like this coat it's so nice and with like blonde hair just oh i don't know why i've got such a bad tummy cramp i feel like i'm gonna be sick i'm a firm believer that chewing gum gives me a sore tummy i don't know i get so bloated and i get such a sore tummy every time i chew it but like i have to chew it because i don't want my breath to sink but like it fucking hurts it makes me so hungry and it starts to feel like my tummy's eating itself when i chew gum does anyone else get that but then i hate mints so there's really no, I mean, I could get breath spray or something. Okay, right, I'm gonna go now because my birthday's in like two days and I'm doing absolutely nothing tomorrow except editing this video. So these were my last days being a teenager. I mean, I think I had a pretty good last few days being a teenager, just absolutely destroying my liver. Like, I say that and I'm just not, like I'm having pretty civil nights out, but um, it's just happening too often and I can't wait for it to die down. But I feel like it's not gonna die down until November. Is anyone else just like so busy at the minute? I feel like September and October are just, off the charts busy it's everyone's birthday why is that i wonder because like when when would you have been conceived new year's starting the new year with a bang literally november is my time to shine i'm not gonna leave my flat for the whole of november and i can't wait november is just a relevant month like how embarrassed would you be to be in november nothing happens in that sorry if your birthday's in november people that have birthdays in november were more than likely conceived on valentine's day the more you know i guess this is goodbye well, I'm not a poet, I'm just a woman. Meow. <gasps> Bye, love you.